emailed us this message asking, I saw the segment with Veronica hating on AT&T over the cost of the microcell. Magic Jack demoed a femtocell for VoIP at CES. Would that work on an iPhone? Paul. Yeah, sure, if it ever goes into production. <laughs> There's been a few uh, understandable legal troubles that have been going around lately, um, mostly that they don't actually have any deals with the carriers. Right. Well, I don't know if that's legal troubles, just some marketing opportunities to be resolved. Yes. And yes. given that all of the carriers, many of the carriers are introducing their own femto cells, and all of them seem to be trying to crush on aftermarket devices sold by third parties, yeah, like, it doesn't look like Wi-Fi any. boosters and femto cells that don't get sold by the carriers, I'm not holding my breath. It's too bad because we were actually pretty excited about the femtocell at CES last year. The Magic Jack one. Yeah, and then it just never happened. I remember you were pretty stoked on that. Who would not be stoked I know. if they lived in my house? And now <laughs> we're stuck with the microcell. It is. Uh, well, you know, i got to say, that it's, it's working. It's, I got phone coverage in my house. And you can actually do the uh, roaming. Have you tried that yet when you leave your house you know, and switch over to AT&T? That normal seems, coverage? That's... Well, I, I, I know I promised to talk about this week. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that next week. Don't, it's, hold on. We'll, All right. We'll, we'll wait for it. We'll I'm wait doing for some it. additional testing. Let's but I did, we got a lot of emails of people saying, thank you for telling us about this because yeah. they really wanted to be able to use their phones <laughs> in their houses, and now they know there's a way. We got one of the guys like, I practically wept. I'm, I'm like, crying. dude, I, I, I hear you. And, you know, my mom called and the phone rang on Sunday. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs>